Hello and welcome to today's webinar. Today we are going to be discussing book reviews. More specifically, the why, the what and the how. A good book review is one of the most powerful incentives that there is out there to get a person to buy a book. That's right. Um, reviews offer discoverability. Okay, and we all know that word of mouth is the most powerful referral that there is out there. Okay, it's also a social proof of somebody like this, I might too. Did you know that Amazon promotes books that convert? Okay, that means more reviews, more sales. Okay, um, Amazon um, will, once they start seeing that you're getting reviews posted for your book and things, they will start promoting your book. Um, within their newsletters, in their customers also bought this section and things like that. Now as an author myself I can tell you there is nothing better than getting a giant like Amazon giving you free marketing. Okay, marketing is hard work. Okay, so having such a huge platform like that working to your advantage is like Christmas come early. Free publicity is awesome but that's not the only reason why authors consider reviews to be like gold okay they're also a powerful source of inspiration and motivation authors pour themselves into their writing okay into their books knowing that people like them and you know i, I have read them i want to read them and that they're telling other people to read them um, that's a really great incentive to write more and also to write better. Okay, if you're getting um, even those reviews that, you know, they might not be completely five star glowing reviews where they give you no fault whatsoever. But as an author, in fact, those three and four star reviews where the person is saying that they liked the book, they've enjoyed reading it and things, but maybe there were some things that could have been done better or whatever, those, those are like the best thing for an author because that means that they can then draw on that for um, future work and uh, they can give their readers even better material and therefore hopefully get even better reviews for their next books. So what should be in a book review? Okay, a lot of people have um, divided opinions about this because in fact, um, if you're going for the numbers game on a review, then basically you can put whatever you want in it you know even just a simple this was a great book or i really enjoyed this that's fine because you're, you're still um giving your opinion of the book okay um that goes a little uh it's not really a quality review um because it's not actually giving any information to anyone about why you liked it um the same applies to those negative reviews that right oh one star awful book but they don't actually tell you why they didn't like it okay so whilst those reviews are valid they're not really quality reviews okay so let's just talk a little bit about what is a quality review what should be included in a review to make it uh, that useful quality factor okay now first off you probably want to tell people a little bit about the book Okay, this also um, will give you that credibility that people will realise that you have actually read the book. Okay, now this is, this is really important for reviewers, okay, because if you don't talk at least a little bit about what happens in the book, um, I'm not saying give away spoilers. In fact, I would not give away spoilers. Um, I personally prefer to give little teasers. So you, you sort of, you're hinting at um, some things that readers can expect from the book, but you're not giving away any of those big twists or major plot points that would actually ruin it for them. Okay, but so there you go. Number one, say something about the story of the book. That gives you credibility as a reviewer and shows everyone, author, other people reading the review and everything that you have actually read the book. Okay, which means that you're in the position to judge it, as you will. 
Um, okay, so now we've we've done that, you, you've had the thing. An important point to make here as well, at the beginning of your view, if you have received a copy of the book um, for free, okay, so it's not a paid purchase, um, then um, it's good etiquette to say that you got it for free and who from, okay? Um, because you also want to have that reputation of giving honest reviews as well and it's it's important to be upfront and you know so if you've got a copy for free off of NetGalley or the author sent you a free copy directly in exchange for your honest review then it's a good good ethic to um, actually say that in the review okay um, okay this do that doesn't mean if you got a free review that doesn't mean that you have to give a five-star review okay it's for your honest opinion I personally, because also being an author as well, I understand that, you know, you're looking for those good reviews. And if you do get a bad review, then it can be heartbreaking. Um, so I tend to, if I read a book and I really honestly can't say anything good about it, then I apply that if you haven't got anything good to say, then don't say anything at all. Um, Rule to that one and I will just decline to do the review because um, I don't think it's nice to go out and damage authors. Um, but at the same time, you do have to give an honest review. Okay, and like I said, that doesn't mean that you, you know, fire away with those stars and things. You can give that two, three star review, but you have to back up your why. Okay, so you've told them a little bit about um, what the book's about you've stated if you've got a free copy or not um, and you're going to give it your general um, overall rating do we say whether you liked it how much you liked it that kind of thing then you've got to move on to the whys you know what was it about the book that you liked okay um, what was it about the book that you didn't like okay you want to have that balance and don't be afraid to say you could you can say um, I thought it was an amazing story there was really solid characters that got me involved and um, you know I really enjoyed reading it however there was maybe a bit too much dialogue um, which slowed down the pace a little bit in places or maybe there was um, a bit at the beginning that was too confusing because it introduced too many characters together and or something like that. You can say negative things about the book in your review. Okay, just it's a good idea to try and balance things out. Um, okay, so we've covered that. Um, also, while we're talking about ratings and uh, whether you liked it or didn't like the book as well, I'd just like to remind everyone that on the uh, we're going to use like Goodreads and Amazon and things like the the general what the star ratings mean. A three star means that you liked it. Okay, a three star is not a bad review, it's a good review. You're saying that you liked it. You didn't really, really like it and you didn't think it was the most awesome book ever. You know, you it's not one of those books that you can't find fault in. But you liked it. You liked it. In fact, your review as a three star review will be a balance between the things that you liked and things that you didn't like. If you're going to give a five star review, then it's a pretty obvious that there was nothing that you didn't like about the book. You know, you can't say anything negative about it if you're giving a five star review. Um, so just bear that in mind. So if you, you know, this whole three star thing, a, a lot of, um, but authors, I know authors that take a three star review as being some kind of insult to their craft. Um, when it's not, it's a good review. But I also know readers that um, when they're doing reviews and things, they feel bad for giving a three star review. And really they shouldn't, because like I said, those three four star reviews that have a more balanced opinion, they're actually the most useful, both for the author to learn um, how they can improve, um, but also for potential readers. Okay, who are trying to decide whether they should read the book or not. 
um, because maybe you know if you're if you're giving the the book review something else that you should try and include is who would you recommend the book for okay because no book is for everybody despite what some people might <laughs> like to think no book is for everybody every book has um, a kind of target audience to it okay so in your book review you know I really like this book I would recommend this book for people who like reading um, action-packed thrillers or I would recommend this book for someone who's looking for a nice easy read cozy mystery or a short romance or whatever you can also include the who you would not recommend it for because again that is very useful to potential readers as well okay because maybe um, you could comment on I don't know the book contained um, an abusive relationship so anyone who is not going to want to read about an abusive relationship is not going to want to read that book okay um, a good example of this would be the Fifty Shades of Grey which uh, we all know because the media um, blew it up to colossal amounts and then the film coming out and everything there was huge discussions about you know um, the fact that it was promoting an unhealthy relationship and blah de, blah de, blah if you're going to do a review you might want to state that people who are against that kind of storyline would probably not want to read that book okay they might be better suited to um, a softer romance you know a, a, um, I don't know a, a book that um, promotes clean romance read um, just trying to think of one off the top of my head um, Susie Hatler uh, Susan Hatler uh, she writes really good short romance there they tend to be clean reads as well so kind of there is no like overly erotic sex scenes or anything in it so they're perfect if someone's looking for a, a romance read um, then they would be far better suited to reading one of her books as opposed to one of the books from Fifty Shades series for example okay so in your review when you're doing your I recommend this book for you can also comment on who you don't recommend it for as well because that's giving people that general overall opinion so that they can then make up their opinion about whether they would want to read that book or not as well which is basically what the review serves for okay the review is to let people know what you thought about it if you thought it was good or not and if you would recommend it for them okay they will then take that and they will decide oh, you like this book for these reasons oh I'm looking for a book for those reasons I might like this one okay so it really is that simple um, so there you go that's pretty much reviews in a nutshell for you um, I hope that you found this little quick webinar useful um, I also hope that it will help encourage readers who um, maybe have not posted reviews for books because they shy away because like I don't know what I'm meant to include in a review I don't know if it's okay to say things that I didn't like about it um, maybe they didn't understand the rating system um, you know and they felt bad for giving a three-star review or whatever um, I hope that this uh, this webinar has helped clear up some of those things for you and we'll get more people posting reviews for books um, okay whether you talk about them in a vlog on YouTube as part of the booktube community or whether you're posting them to your own blog uh, if you're posting them to Amazon um, I hope you will post them to Amazon because that's really good for authors <laughs> um, like I mentioned before but also YouTube and pretty much anywhere that you can post a review to okay because seriously authors really really appreciate it when they get that feedback from readers okay regardless of what that feedback is okay it is all um, a positive thing um, and like I said it can be a great uh, motivation inspiration to write better books in the future and things as well so um, if the author is someone who, who understands the system which I hope this webinar has helped them understand as well because some people don't 
um, then hopefully they will use it to actually become better writers in the future as well and we'll get that connection with their readers which is so important. So anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions about doing book reviews, um, then please feel free to leave a comment question in uh, the comments below um, and I will love to, to chat about reviews with you. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.